It's uh, <laughs> I was walking uptown to get uh, a, something to eat uh, from one of our local uptown establishments, doing my due diligence and duty to uh, promote and spend local. Uh, and uh, you know, it's clearly it's it's beautiful, sunny outside. I'm starting to see a lot of the snow melting away. So, Kyle, uh, clearly it's starting to melt. Can you give us an update as to what things are going to look like over the next seven days? So today we'll look for sunny skies with a high of 41. Tonight, mostly clear, low 23. Thursday, mostly cloudy, high of 47. Thursday night, overcast, low 34. Friday, showers, high of 47. Friday night showers, low 34. Saturday morning showers, morning showers followed by afternoon sun, high of 41. Saturday, probably cloudy, low 26. Sunday, probably cloudy, high of 39. Sunday night, probably cloudy, low of 26. Monday, probably cloudy. A few flurries or snow showers possible, high of 39. Monday night, probably cloudy, low of 25. Tuesday, probably cloudy, high of 41. Tuesday night, probably cloudy, low of 30. The next Wednesday, probably cloudy skies with a high of 45 and a low of 32. There you have it. We're well into to uh, the tail end of, of fall, and and winter is right or not too long, far away. Um, Kyle, you know certainly we continue to watch the uh, active cases of COVID nineteen here in the city of Athens uh, and Athens County. Uh, can you give us an update on COVID nineteen around the world as well as across the United States and the state of Ohio? So, so globally, total cases of COVID are now almost 65 million cases and almost 1.9 million people dead. United States total cases, they are now approaching 14 million cases and over 270,000 dead. In the state of Ohio, there are now almost 440,000 cases and over 6,000 dead. Yeah. And as of yesterday, there were 490 active cases in Athens County. Um, unfortunately, four people uh, succumbing to COVID-19 in Athens County. Uh, and hopefully, I'll get a quick update pretty soon from the Athens City County Health Department, and I can give what, the, what today's numbers are. I share that with everyone, as I do with most of these press conferences, um, weekly updates, in that we we really need to do the best that we possibly can to try to, to curb and reduce the increase that we're seeing in active cases, new cases here in the county. In my conversations with the county health department, um, we... Uh, are starting to see cases um, throughout the county, uh, which is something to certainly be concerned about. So uh, again, possibly an update within this weekly update. Kyle, thank you. Uh, as usual, any, any sports updates that you want to share? This Saturday is the last OU home football game against Buffalo at Penn Stadium at 3.30 p.m. And Saturday, Sunday is the first, Sunday's the first men's game at the Convo at 2 p.m. against, what's it, Kennedy or against versus whoever, who else? Somebody. Some Somebody. other place that has five basketball players and a round ball. Great. Thanks, Kyle. As usual, it's great having you with me uh, and giving updates on all things weather, COVID, and sports related. So thank you.
Um, related to COVID-19, um, this is uh, something that I was just informed minutes ago, quite literally, that uh, the Athens City County Health Department is going to be hosting a COVID-19 drive through pop-up testing. That'll be Tuesday, December 8th at the Athens County Fairgrounds. Uh, I don't have the times that this is going to be on, but what I'm told is it's going to be an afternoon event. So uh, hours yet to be determined. As soon as we get those hours, we will be pushing that out. Uh, and this is a great opportunity. This is free, a uh, great opportunity to get tested um, uh, and with no testing criteria. In other words, you don't have to be symptomatic. Um, you don't have to, uh, again, exhibit signs of fever, uh, dry cough, headaches, anything along those lines. Anybody can go through and you drive through, they swab you, and you'll get your results. Uh, I don't know what the time frame is on getting those results, but you will get those results back um, in return. Uh, the county health department just pushed out their notification and it looks like active cases, known active cases in Athens County uh, is at 505 active cases with 1,661 recovered and 2,170 total cases. So there you have it. But uh, again, take advantage of the pop-up testing um, October, or sorry, December 10th, December 10th is the time to do it. It will be in the afternoon. And as soon as we get those times on December 8th, we will get that out December 8th. Um, so right around the corner, six days from now. Uh, the other thing I want to bring up is the emergency weather procedures. Um, Ryan, if you can throw that up to where the viewing audience can see it. You know, the, the uh, uh, level one, level two, and level three uh, when it comes to classes or sports at the Athens Community Center during the winter months, um, worth noting, uh, you know, all under level one, all classes and sports uh, are as scheduled level two. If it is two hours prior to the starting time, uh, of the class slash games, uh, and the Athens County is under a level two, uh, the, the, uh, the classes and games will be canceled. Weight room will be, re, remain open during level two. Uh, and during the weekdays, if it's level two at 5 a.m., then the community center will open at 8 a.m. And then level three, everything will be canceled. And if you ever have questions about whether the community center during inclement weather, what they're doing, uh, you can always call 592-3325 and get an update directly from the community center. The Stimson Avenue project, um, the, there will be a Carpenter Street Lane closure uh, that is Thursday, and the closure will be until December 8th. So keep that in mind. Um, the brick will be restored once this area is completed. This is, uh, I believe, the water line replacement in that area. So it's the Carpenter Street Lane closure. Uh, another thing that's related to engineering and public works is... Um, the Northwest Bike Path Spur. The Bike Path Spur has a few last punch items to be done, but they, they have the signage up, the railing is up, and therefore the University Estates uh, connector with the Northwest Bike Path Spur is open and ready for use. Uh, that's a long time coming. Uh, a great connector to get up to the University of States neighborhood, as opposed to having to risk driving or riding your bicycle or walking down 682. Um, so a, a great improvement with that particular project. The uh, Arts, Parks and Recreation 
We'll be having, uh, Ryan, if you could throw that up for me, a little Rascals Ballet, a little Rascals, a little Royals Ballet. Uh, Boy, I'm dating myself with Little Rascals. Uh, Little Royals Ballet, ages four through six a.m. classes, uh, Friday, 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., December 4th, 11th, and 18th. And uh, PM classes are Thursdays, 5 p.m. to 5.30 p.m., December 3rd, 10th, and 17th. Cost is $20. If you want to uh, introduce your four- to six-year-olds to to, uh, ballet, um, strength, rhythm, music, uh, through games, songs, and choreography. Hippo Hoppo classes. Again, this is age groups three to five. Uh, will be Fridays, 10 a.m. to 10. Thir- I'm sorry, 9 a.m. to 9:30, and Thursdays, 4 p.m. to 4:30 p.m. So, uh, if you want to check that out, that too is something fun for young individuals to partake in. The cost for that is also twenty dollars. Uh, I have been asked to serve on the Ohio University Division of Diversity and Inclusion's Acknowledgement and Reconciliation Committee. Um, This is a group that will look at uh, the naming of facilities uh, and grounds um, as related to individuals who uh, were either slave owners um, or um, identified as being involved in, in racist activities and reimagining things as we research Ohio University campus. So I've been asked to serve among, along with many other individuals on this. Um, it's going to be one of those roll up our sleeves and dig in deep as we walk the path of anti-racism and overcoming 400 plus years of oppression and racism, uh, systemic racism. So uh, more to come on that. The uh, the last thing I want to share with everybody is uh, some updates on the big belly system that is uptown uh, in terms of where we're at with diversion uh, of waste from the landfill with the recycling component of the Big Belly. Uh, this is the 2019 numbers for uh, trash, um, which gets sent to the landfill. In 2019, it was 76,200 gallons of trash that went to the landfill. Uh, the amount that was diverted using our system uptown was... 49,500 gallons of recyclables that went to the uh, Athens Hawking Recycling Center. Uh, The the total was 125,700 gallons of waste. So that's a a substantial amount of, of recycling that otherwise under our old system where we just had the open trash containers with no recycling option available in the uptown for pedestrians walking up and down the streets uh, all would have gone into the landfill so uh, an update there for everybody uh, which is always good to bring those up um, when we get those reports that are produced other than that i really uh again i'm asking people to remember to always wear masks if you're out and about Um, I should add to that with the uh, amount of COVID-19 active cases that we're seeing coming in and the amount of COVID-19 that is throughout our county. Um, Keep in the back of your mind that anytime you are out and about going someplace that you are uh, potentially putting yourself and others at risk of exposure. So really reduce your movements throughout the city Uh, unless you absolutely have to go out for groceries or other sundries, um, you know, plan your trips. I always encourage people to try to use the grocery stores at, at um, uh, 
lower volume, lower use times um, where, there, where there aren't as many people in the grocery stores. Always wash your hands you know, frequently and social distance. Um, is the, the, those are the key factors. Face mask, face coverings, social distancing and washing your hands. Uh, and a fourth one, reducing your movements and making them only uh, movements throughout the city as is deemed absolutely necessary. That's all I have for today. Thank you for joining me with the weekly update here in the city of Athens. And please join me again next week for the next